Good morning, everyone, and welcome back. It's so great to have you. Now, as my garage continues to grow, so does the need for a great pickup truck. But with a budget of $10,000, my options were everything but great. Uh, we're talking bailout era Chevys, rusted out Fords, blown up power strokes, you name it, they were all awful. But I kind of thought that if I expanded my search to an older truck that was still good with overdrive and the hauling capacity that I needed, I might be able to uh, settle for something a little bit older. And I did. So without further ado, this is my 1995 Ford F-250 Power Stroke. Roll the intro. I think it's safe to say that this truck is the real deal. This thing has a 444 cubic inch turbocharged diesel V8 engine that makes 200 whatever horsepower and almost 500 foot pounds of torque. That's enough to pull a house down. But even with this truck's massive V8 diesel engine, it definitely has a dainty side. I mean, look at it. It might be square and brute, but it's gorgeous. I love the two-tone, it's in beautiful shape, and the paint is just as shiny as it was 26 years ago. Now, I really don't like round pickup trucks, like all of the new ones. I think trucks should be square because I am stuck in the 80s, and the perfect fit for what I needed was this truck to a T. With its modern powertrain with overdrive and OBD2, combined with 80s styling, it was the perfect combination of old and new. So this was not the original 95 F-250 that I set out to buy. There was actually another 95 F-250 in Phoenix, Arizona, and I had these grand plans of flying out and then driving that truck back home on this crazy epic road trip in an old Ford truck. I thought that would be such a cool video, such a cool experience, and just all the way around a really great time. Now, the truck was at a dealer, so that was mistake number one in hindsight, but the truck was at a dealer, and I found it on a listing on Facebook. So I called the dealer, this is like a Monday, I called the dealer and I said, hey, tell me more about your truck, yada, yada, yada. We go back and forth, exchange some information and we planned for Friday. So Friday morning rolls around and I'm booking my plane ticket to Phoenix. I have friends out there, they'd pick me up from the airport and then we'd be at the, uh, the dealer there Saturday morning. So that was the plan. So I have the dealer on speaker on the phone, I'm talking to the guy, making sure they sell the truck and this and that, and just saying, hey, I'm booking my ticket as we speak to fly out, and then I'll be there in the morning. Basically is how I left it with him. And the guy said, okay, great, we'll see you then. And we hung up, deal was done. Plane ticket in hand, truck was waiting for me, done deal. So the guy calls me back about five minutes later in a panic. Um, so I had to leave early last night, and apparently in the time that I was gone, my coworker sold your truck. And I said, I'm sorry, what, what, what did you just say? And he said, yeah, uh, they sold the truck yesterday. It's gone. These trucks are really hard to find because a lot of them are so mild out, and they're so rusty and mild out, that I would never want to pay any amount of money for one. I mean, especially around here, I live in the Salt Belt, all of these trucks around here are garbage. Or they're like showroom quality and people are asking between thirty dollars and $40,000 for them. And believe you me, this truck is not worth $40,000. I don't care how perfect it is. Okay, rant over. Anyways, so when the guy called me back and said that the truck was gone, I thought, 
great. How am I gonna find another nice 95 F-250? These are work trucks. I mean, these have been beat on for 25 plus years. And how am I gonna find another nice one? So I kind of hung my head. I saw this plane ticket to Phoenix and thought, well, maybe I'll just keep looking and another one might pop up. I mean, we're out of the salt belt, obviously, in Phoenix. And I kept looking and looking and nothing in the area made sense. They were all, you know, 400, 500,000 miles or they were just beaten and kicked and just didn't, they weren't good. They weren't good examples of a nice truck. So I, uh, I kind of gave it up. So a couple hours later, my brother sends me a text and the only thing in that text was a link to a Facebook ad for this truck. This truck was in St. Louis, Missouri. So significantly closer right off the get. And from the pictures, it looked absolutely perfect. I thought, oh my God, oh my, how is this even happening right now? This truck was cheaper, had less miles, and it looked even better than the truck that I was going to fly 2,000 miles to go get and drive it back home. This truck was better in literally every way and it was cheaper. It seemed too good to be true. So I messaged the guy, this thing had been on Facebook for like, I don't know, seven, eight hours, I mean, not long. And I knew with the market getting so hot that this truck would be gone in a flash. So I messaged the guy and I said, hey, please, I will be there tomorrow morning. I will be there tomorrow morning with cash in hand. Hold that truck for me and I'll take it off your hands. And he did. We got there that morning and the rest is history. So that's, that's the funny story of this truck. This isn't the one that I set out to buy, but as it worked out, I got one that's so much better. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching because if it wasn't for you, none of this, and I mean none of this, would ever be possible. So again, thank you so much. And if you like this video, hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more to come because we have a lot more in the works. All right, with that out of the way, thanks so much, and I'm out of here. It's feeding time.